We're All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to do a um a escape from Eden Brook tutorial. So once you're yeah. at level one, you just got to, you know, just jump across like you would. And level one yeah. is Luigi. actually Luigi. like if you look up, you can go to the tallest tower and then look at the second tallest tower. Not the tallest one, though. And then that's where level one is. Then what you have to do is you just have to make these jumps and get up to the top. Yeah, this level one is actually pretty easy. Some of the jumps are kind of harder though. So just be careful of that. All right. All right, I am at the top currently. So you grab your grappler. You guys got to do it by yourself. Is I'm not grabbing the I'm not grabbing the grappler for you. Okay. Why? Oh. Save it for later. And then on level two, it says you come across your next challenge, you realize it would be impossible without a grappler. All right, and level two is this really, really tall tower right here, the tallest tower out Wait, of the mall. is there fall damage? No. Okay. And then you just go right in here. You quickly come across your second challenge and realize it would be impossible without a grappler. So the one you need to go to is that one with the red dot underneath. So you just grapple up to that. Are you doing grapple up there. And it only took me two grapples. And then you come across here. You notice a strange object outside the window. You decide to grab an explosive and blow it up. So chuck that at the, chuck the clinger yeah. at that, and then there's E, right? You hear an explosion off in the distance. You decide to go investigate. You feel a f force growing within yourself and decide you, to take a leap of faith. You quickly now that, come across your second challenge. Now and that is, is actually the end of the second level. Do you see the red dot stage? And then, yeah, the red dots. all right, then you have to go back to the market square, which is, which is just straight ahead after you leave. Now I'm back. Then, where you have to go, so level five is that way, level four is that way, level three is, no, that's level four. That's level five, so facing this way, this oh, is level three. Box. Hold on, is it level three? This layout sometimes confuses me. No, level three is this way, I think. No, that's level one. Level three is actually kind of tucked away here. But I'm pretty sure it's down this way. Then go up these stairs. Because it's like a library. Found it! All right. You begin the third challenge and begin searching the library for the answer to the to clearing the market path. I made it. Let's go. So then go down here. You notice a strange object here outside of the window. You decide to grab an explosive and blow it up. If you guys want to grab an ex grab the clinger and throw it, you guys can. I don't see. Anything. I don't see nothing. I know. I already blew it up. Why? You you realize that you have taken the wrong path and begin retracing your steps. What did you do? Then you gotta do level one again. So, but you have to go this, this, that staircase. Then, what? It's basically it. just a wandering level to get to the top. And there is in total four levels, I believe. So what you have to do is you have to go as high as you can. Go up as much as you can. Yeah. No, there's eight. Where's there's the five levels in this area. You, sp you spot another strange target. You decide to blow it up and see what happens. So you throw Scoring. that and that. You feel a sense of urgency and decide to head to the marketplace and see if the gas has cleared. Destroy and then in parentheses it says to go forward, you must first go back. So you just gotta destroy. So you, what you have to do is, I think you did, all right guys, wait for me out. But you have to complete the maze. I got a question, destroyer. Yeah. 
Um, are you doing a real YouTube video right now? Mm -hmm. And this is just blocked, so you can't get out there. So, are you gonna do a YouTube video when we're role playing too? I don't know. Depends. I might. I probably will though. Okay. Mhm. Mm Anything you want to say? To be on, I might be on YouTube in a second too. Anything you want to say to the camera so far? Subscribe to whatever his name is on YouTube. Yeah, subscribe. Oh, and Turn guys, if um, I'm gonna be post, I'm gonna be posting a blog, a vlog, Poising. not a blog. <laughs> I'm gonna be poisoning a. I'm gonna be poisoning a block. <laughs> <a blog. laughs> you're, you're gonna poison the blog? Dude, what's wrong with you? <laughs> All right, no, but I'm gonna be um uploading a vlog, a vlog once I get my poison. second channel up and running. It's gonna be poison. called Fortnite gonna Streams YT. No, it's gonna be PS4 stream. No, it's gonna be YouTube PS4. No, I don't know. I was gonna, I was thinking it to be AGC Destroyer, but I'm not really in the AGT clan anymore. All right, all right, no, I gotta read this. You feel your energy dwindling, but decide to push forward. You take the bow and save it for later. With only one arrow, you decide to make it count. So that's basically all of level four, guys. Is Creeper in the maze right now? I'm still, I'm, I'm still, I lost my grapplers. Good job. I accidentally messed up, so I have to go back and get the grapplers. Okay. Okay, DH, will you try, actually, make sure you make a video. I am. Of the, of the, um, when we're doing the role play. Oh, all right. So then you I just got gotta go grapplers. over here to level five with the bow. And then it says, you spot yet another strange target. You decide this must be the key to unlocking the forest. You aim your bow and take your only shot. So for that, you just gotta do that. And then you lose the bow once you walk in here. Where's level two? You, upon entering the forest, you can't help, look at the tallest tower. You can't help but feeling uneasy. You know that you are running out of time and need to, and you need to push forward. So then for this, you gotta walk all the way to the back because this right here um got me at five. first when i did that you made it to level five yeah yeah did you skip like half the levels nope oh all right so what you have to do here is you have to search for a um clinger and it's tucked away right in here i think yep yeah, right in here it's, uh, hold on, if it'll let me in. You are amazed to find another explosive device. You put it in your bag and head to the castle. And then the castle is device. just right here. No, I didn't, I said device. Oh. Whatever. Okay. And then here's level six, the castle. You open this, jump on the barrels, go up to this ledge. And you wanna do all of this with the clinger, then you go outside. You have to jump on that, jump on that and jump on that. Do the exact jumps that I do because you can't jump on anything else. And then as you can see there, it says you notice another strange target and realize it must be the only way out. You pull out the explosive you found in the forest and throw it. Now, when I came here the first time, I never knew there was an explosive in the forest. I just had, I just went straight to the castle. And then, but you have to have a clinger for this. You throw that at that, you throw the clinger. And then it blows that up. You find yourself in a narrow valley that seems to lead somewhere. And then, and then it says, you think you've come to the end of your journey, but decide not to give up. You look around for a way up the mountain and there is a secret right up right there, right over there if you wanna go get that. But where you really need to go for this is over here at the very edge. And then there's another billboard or writing. And it says you find you find a grappler and take a second to admire the view before heading towards the mountain. So then what that si is signaling is you gotta go all the way up to the top of the mountain. It's not too hard, it only takes about five shots to do. Let's see how many I can do it in. One, two, three. Wait, what? Oh, I gotta go up here. All right, 
You reach the top of the mountain and prepare for your final challenge as you travel the path to Aretha's castle. I don't know if I said that right. Aretha. And then here you can just see what he used to make it. I ran into the wall. All right, then level eight, you approach the castle and feel relief as you stop at the entrance. With Aretha nowhere in sight, you assume the worst has come and gone. Then what you need to do is go in here. Upon entering, upon entering, you realize that the real challenge is still yet to come. You try to navigate through the never ending maze. So what you have to do here is you have to um, go to the left, which is this way. And then there's nothing there, but if you go along the right path, I'm not going the right way, you can find a grappler, which is right here. You find another grappler and begin searching for a place to use it. So then you gotta go back out. But you, but you guys are want, gonna wanna keep a close eye at the ceiling because as you can see right here, you can actually go up with the grappler. And then it says, you land safely and take a moment to catch your breath before real, before realizing a dangerous ascent ahead. You search for the right path. So then it just means you have to go up here. All right, then you get your this grappler take. Point. All right, I got it. And then you just go out here. Do this parkour. Come on. So. Okay. <gasps> what? So you're at the top of the parkour. You gotta do some jumps right here into this window. Then what you have to do is you have to jump right down here. And as you can see, there's literally nothing here. I th I'm pretty sure there is an open window somewhere. Oh no, no, you gotta do this parkour. No, got the horses in the four seconds attached. GSA destroyer. All right, so then you go out, go, jump destroyer. up on that tear, chair, go out, and then do the parkour outside. Then you just got to do the parkour right here. What the heck? It's impossible. No, it's not. I did it. It's easy. It's after a girl climbed to the top of Aretha's castle, you begin searching for a way to destroy the magical energy core storing her power. So then just, you can look through here. Then you gotta grab a bunch of bottle rockets. And this fooled me the first time I did this. I thought, but you have to do this parkour. But the way it fooled me is I grabbed a hunt. And just so you guys know, there is jump fatigue. So oh, if you jump too I much, mean. then you can't jump. But what fooled me is that um, I was at the very top with the bottle rockets when I did this. And I thought you had to throw it from here and land it on there. But no, you have to throw it at the thing right up there and then you just got to spam it at the thing and soon it will blow up yep hit me yes and then you might run out of um, bottle rockets, but that's okay. But it says after making the final jumps, you reach the energy core and begin throwing rockets until it is nothing more than a pile of ash, which I ran out. Isabella, can you wait for me? Oui. Oh, I missed. So you can just respawn. Then you just need to get a bunch of bunch more things here. Huh. Huh. Bunny. Budge. And what you have to do? Huh. Yeah. Then you just have to do these jumps again. I failed. 
That's an easy jump too. 